Welcome back to another episode of Samsung Developers. This is Vincent, bringing you an introduction to Tizen. This video will give you all the basic things that you need to know on developing with Tizen applications, then show you how to set up your development environment and create a basic Tizen application that can be used on the new Samsung Z1. Tizen, the OS for everything, is an open source cross-platform operating system that allows developers to create feature-rich applications to cater multiple domains. Tizen provides two types of frameworks for developers. First is the native framework, which can be used to develop native applications. And the other one is the web framework that can be used to develop web applications. One can also combine these two frameworks and make a more powerful hybrid application. Now, before we start creating a sample application, we need the following. A Tizen IDE for developing Tizen web and native applications and a Tizen extension SDK for certificate. The Tizen extension SDK for certificate provides the Tizen IDE with functionalities to request and register certificates. Here are the steps to set up our development environment. First, we go to developer.samsung.com. Click on Samsung Z. Now we have to download two things, the Tizen SDK and Tizen Extension SDK for Certificate. For the Tizen Extension SDK for Certificate, just click on Download Now to get the downloadable. The Tizen SDK includes an install manager and an SDK image. Choose the right install manager and SDK image for your platform. Just click on the link provided to start your download. After the download has finished, we can now go on with installation. Let's install the Tizen IDE first. Navigate to the downloaded files then click the install manager. Wait for the window to open up. Then click advanced. Tick SDK image then search for the image file of the Tizen SDK. Click OK. Click Install. Then Next. Read the license agreement, then click Agree. Finally, click Install. Wait for the process to finish. The Tizen IDE is now installed into your system. Next thing we are going to install is the Tizen Extension SDK for Certificate. Open the Installer Manager again. This time click on Update. Click Extra Repository, then click Add. Choose a name for your added repository, then key in the location of the extracted Tizen extension file. Click OK.
check certificate extension then hit install On your Tizen IDE, let's create a basic web application. Click on File, New, Tizen Web Project. Just leave it at that, then input a project name. If you're satisfied, click Finish. Let's go to index.html and edit Tizen app into Hello Tizen. After that, right click on the project, then click Run as Tizen Web Simulator application. The Tizen Web Simulator will open, and as you can see, the Hello Tizen we edited earlier is shown. Also, on the side of the simulator are some tools that can help you as you develop Tizen web apps. Next, we're going to create a Tizen native application. Click on File, New, Project, Tizen, and Tizen native project, then hit Next. Choose UI application, then Basic UI application. Choose a name for your project, then click Finish. Next, let's open the C file from the SRC folder. In this, we also change the phrase Hello EFL to Hello Tizen. Then after that, save it. Now we're ready to run our applications. But first, we must create an emulator that will contain our applications. Go to Connection Explorer then click Emulator Manager, create new VM, then click Confirm. To boot the emulator, click the Play button. Now, let's run the web application on our emulator. As you can see, an error appeared. It says Active Secure Profile is not set. It means we need to generate a certificate first before we can run applications on our emulator. Let's go ahead and do that. Click on Window, Preferences, Tizen SDK, Security Profiles. Click Add, then enter a profile name. After that, click Generate, then fill in the required fields. Click OK, then Yes. Now that's done, let's go back and try again to run our web application. Our web app has successfully run on the emulator.
next? Let's try and check out our native application. As you can see, the native application also has no problems running on our emulator. You must first request and register a certificate to run and verify your application on Tizen. Notice the register certificate icon on the toolbar. If it is not present, you have to install the Tizen extension SDK for certificate. The request and register certificate window will appear. First, we must generate a CSR file. Then new. Fill in the fields. Select Request, the certificate and browse for the CSR you generated earlier. Then click on Submit. Check your email for the CRT file sent by Samsung Tizen. Download the file. Go back to the Tizen IDE and click Request a Device Profile. Select the privilege level and paste the DUID of either the emulated device or the device connected to your computer. Click Submit. Check your email again for the certificate file, an XML file, then download, and take note of the password. On the author group in the window, browse for the author.crt file earlier and input the password you gave while generating the CSR file. On the device profile group, browse for the certificate file sent to you and input the password included on the same email. Click on Window Preferences, Tizen SDK, then Security Profiles. You can see that the generated certificates for the author and device profiles are now active. Right-click on the Connected Device in Connection Explorer tab, then click Permit to Install Application. You will then be notified that you succeeded to upload a certificate. Don't forget to generate certificate to run your applications on the emulator and on your Tizen devices. If you're creating a web application, you can use Tizen Web Simulator to check out your application. And lastly, in creating your applications, you can use either Tizen Native or Tizen Web. Be sure to select the best application type for your project. That's about it for developing a Tizen app. For inquiries, please post your questions on the official forum at developer.samsung.com. Also, don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the Samsung Developers channel. Thanks for watching.